Fisheries are a key natural and economic resource for our planet, but managing them is challenging. Limited knowledge about fish biology and uncertain fish population estimates can make management negotiations long, difficult, and politicized. Further complicating things, each species has a unique life history, and the fisheries that target them are all different. Today, fisheries management is transitioning to a new approach called harvest strategies, also called management procedures. A key part of it is Management Strategy Evaluation, or MSE, a tool that uses computer models to simulate how a fishery works and test which potential harvest strategies can best achieve pre-agreed objectives, such as an abundant population or high catch level. MSE starts with operating models that simulate the conditions of the fishery and stock, including uncertainties such as growth rate, predation, and maturation age. Each operating model represents a potential combination of hypotheses about how the real system functions. Scientists eliminate unlikely operating model scenarios using a technique called conditioning, which compares the operating models to available real-world data from the fishery, such as catch-per-unit effort data, and determines whether the two fit or are compatible. Once operating models are agreed, scientists can test the likelihood that various candidate harvest strategies will achieve the objectives. The goal is to find a harvest strategy that performs well in all scenarios, that is, in all operating models. MSE simulations follow a closed feedback loop. First, the operating model, which represents fishery and population dynamics, generates simulated data. Next, the data are passed into what's known as an observation error model, which adds plausible levels of imprecision, such as errors in catch at size or catch rates. This step takes real data from the operating models and adds mistakes, since real-world fishery data are never 100% correct. Then, the data coming out of the observation error model are interpreted to assess the population status and determine the management response based on the harvest strategy being tested. The fourth step simulates on-the-water implementation of the harvest strategy. In this so-called implementation error model, additional bias is added, for example, due to potential illegal or unreported catches that cause the quota to be exceeded. The cycle then completes, with the data feeding back into the operating model to simulate the next year and so on, cycling into the future. Each loop represents one management cycle, be it one year, three years, or some other time period. This multi-cycle nature of MSE's closed-loop simulation thus determines the highest performing candidate harvest strategy going forward over the long term. For example, the strategy that gets high catches while sacrificing maximum catch to also maintain a healthy population size. Why do we do MSE? So we better understand these trade-offs and uncertainties in the management system, and so we know what to expect from it. If a harvest strategy doesn't meet our objectives in a simulation, it won't meet our objectives in the ocean. Around the world, fisheries are moving towards MSE-based harvest strategies. The reward? Transparent and accountable decision-making, as well as long-term sustainability, stability, and profitability that benefits fish, fishermen, and consumers.